Welcome to this visual animation of electrical energy created by the University of Manchester. This video is a brief intro into the electrical network of the United Kingdom. Electricity is what powers all our devices and appliances at home with the flick of a switch. But do we actually understand where this electricity comes from? To understand this, this animation will take you through the journey of electricity and its different stages. The first stage of this journey begins with the generation of electricity. Electrical energy is created by converting heat or mechanical energy into electricity. The conventional electrical generating stations in the UK are coal-fired power stations that convert steam to electrical power, hydroelectric power stations that convert mechanical energy into electrical power, gas power stations that convert steam to electrical power, and similarly nuclear power stations that convert steam to electrical power too. Once generated, the electrical power from all the different sources need to be transmitted from all the various power stations over long distances to towns and cities where it can be used. This part of the journey is called transmission. To transmit electricity over long distances, we use high voltages. Electricity is increased to voltages as high as 400,000 volts in the UK using high voltage transformers. Transformers essentially repackage electricity. This high voltage electrical power is then transmitted over long distances using high voltage transmission towers or pylons. These are the things that we drive past every day on the highway. Sometimes it's not always possible to use a pylon to transmit power, in which cases we use underground cables. Once the electrical energy reaches the destination, it's brought down to lower voltages to be distributed to different users across the nation. This part of the journey is then called, yes you guessed it right, distribution. A distribution network consists of different users, and all these users require power at different voltages. In order to supply the end user with the required voltage, Power distribution networks once again use transformers to convert the electricity to the required voltage level. The different users, for example, in the UK are domestic users like our homes, commercial users such as big shopping centres and high-rise office blocks, and industrial users like manufacturing plants. This is the historic electrical network in the UK, but there is a decline in fossil fuels and we need to find alternative clean resources to generate power in order to reduce carbon emissions and also meet the demand of electricity. Today's grid is running at capacity, and when faults on the line occur, there is a risk of blackouts. And in order to meet the increased demand in electricity and reduce carbon emissions, the UK is investing in clean sources of energy, which are also called renewable energy resources. A good example of these are wind turbines. There's a large increase in wind turbines within the UK. Wind turbines can be installed either offshore or onshore and in some cases locally on the distribution network. Another sort of offshore energy is tidal and wave energy. There is another source of energy that's abundant in the atmosphere and that's solar energy powered by the sun. Energy from the sun is converted to electricity using solar panels. Solar panels can be connected locally to houses and commercial complexes, either single panels or an array of panels, depending on the power needs. But now we are beginning to generate a lot of power in the distribution side of the network. This energy can now be supplied back into the main network and also stored in batteries for use when there is need for more power. There is a large need for generating more power locally as households will need more electricity in the future. For example, we might all be driving electric cars in the future and they will need to be charged at different times during the day for which we will need the energy. Battery storage and other local generation allows us to be able to feed back excess electricity into the system when there is a large demand on the network. This sort of generation is called distribution generation.
the UK electrical system of the future will be a complicated network of large and small power generation capable of answering the electrical demands of the country. Engineers are and will have to develop new ways of generating, transmitting and distributing clean energy of the future to keep all our lights turned on. Thank you for listening and my name is Dr Vidi.